Uh, my name is Dr. Alex Sheriffs. I'm a family physician right here in Fowler in this small town just south of Fresno. And my work with the Air District began because of my concerns about the impact of air quality on patients that I was seeing. One of the things that I'm involved in is medical education. I think it's important to, to be training the doctors that are coming and be sure we have a good supply of well-trained physicians. So I work with UCSF Fresno, uh, the residency program in family medicine. And one of the curriculums we developed this year was to work on community health projects, to be thinking in more detail about what kinds of things are going on in the community that affect the health, why our patients see us in the office. And one of the projects that the residents came up with, uh, because of their interest, uh, particularly in working with children, was the impact of air quality and thinking about different ways that they might have something that might seem very small, but something people could wrap their arms around that could make a difference. And they focused on the problem of idling and they put together the video. And I must say, I was really impressed when I saw that, what they, they, they put together. And also knew that, again, the Air District had resources to, to fine tune this and also to, to find a good audience to share this with, because this really was a message that uh, everybody felt needed, needed a wider audience and to be shared. Well, we hope you enjoy the video. And remember, next time you're in front of a school, thinking about that fast food, Turn the key, be idle free. It's good for all of our health. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Angie, and I'm here today to talk to you along with my doctor friends about our air quality in Fresno. We all know the air quality in the Central Valley is bad. It's really bad. It's one of the worst places in the country. Our lungs are not designed to breathe dirty air. So everyone's affected when the air is bad. Our lungs are pulling in air. And what does air have in it? It has oxygen, which is really what keeps us alive, but we need to breathe. But then it can have some ugly gases in there too. And that's what we call air pollution. Now the ones we really need to worry about are the PM 2.5 particles. These are the tiny particles that we actually contribute to. And bad air causes or worsens all kinds of health issues, including asthma, bronchitis, heart disease, lung cancer. So that's what we're kind of worried about because the air pollution really affects our health. Idling means when mom and dad don't turn off the car. This happens when they drop you off at school, this happens when they pick you up at school, and this actually even happens when you're in the drive through getting McDonald's. But what happens is we're in a tight spot, and we have all that air pollution and the engine's running, and it's causing more air pollution. And just 10 minutes of idling produces a pound of carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is one of these PM2.5 particles that gets right deep into the lungs. Now for the smaller people, the children at the schools, well, you're closer to the tailpipes, so you're going to breathe in a lot more. You're also breathing faster, so it's more dangerous, it's more ugly air you're breathing in. So one of the things we can do is turn off the key and stop the idling cars. You know, sometimes I, parents will say, oh, turning off the car and turning it back on wastes so much gas. Actually, it doesn't. The act of turning your engine off and on results in less gasoline wasted than 10 seconds of idling. And sometimes in Fresno, it's really hot, so they have the AC on, and sometimes it's really cold, so they have the heat on, and that's why they're keeping their cars running. If it's too hot in the car, especially in the summer, have them get out of the car and go into the office, go into the gym, sit underneath a tree, anything other than them sitting in their car with the car on. Turning off your car while it's idling is a great start, but it is only the beginning. You know, if your neighborhood's safe and you have friends in the neighborhood, how about walking to school with them? That way mom and dad don't have to drive you there and they're not using their car. But maybe walking to school just isn't an option where you live. Carpooling is another great option. Yeah, you're still driving, but one car on the road is a lot better than three or four cars. Another thing you can do is actually ride your bike to school as well. If you don't have a helmet, you want to make sure that your mom and dad get you a helmet before you do that. If you do nothing else, at least turn off your car while waiting to pick your kids up at school. It only takes 10 seconds to start saving on fuel, decreasing pollution, and helping to improve our kids' health. You need to say thanks mom, thanks dad for turning off your car, 
I know you might be getting a little hot, you might be getting a little cold because the car is off, but thank you, because that's really protecting my health. So tell mom to uh, turn the key and be idle free. <laughs>